On Asia Down Under, as the sunny autumn comes to an end, two stories of the countryside. It's harvest time in Hawke's Bay, we meet two Punjabi orcharding families. And a taste of freedom, the eggs from happy hens. Kia ora and welcome to Asia Down Under. Later in the show, we'll be making a visit to New Zealand's countryside. But first, some action. Now, if you believe that publicity, spills and thrills, bruises and bloodshed is what our first story is all about. Even more peculiar that this is a sport for women. Milda Emser has been putting on her skates to find out more. You have to have guts to do this. Girly but tough, it's roller derby. An aggressive point scoring sport played on roller skates. The game involves two teams of five women. Each has one jammer who's recognized by a star on her helmet. Everybody else are blockers, and points are scored by the jammer every time she overtakes an opposition blocker. For copywriter Aurora Rees, tonight is her first bout ever. She's just spent two months as a fresh meet, a derby word for beginner. Pretty nervous. I was, actually, today I was more excited, I think. Um, it's been a lot of hard work coming, you know, a lot of hard work before you bout, and it's actually really exciting. I think it's an all or nothing sport, so either you're into it or you're not. It's reasonably safe if you take a fall. Um, yeah, they're really, 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 th they have really thick foam inside. Roller Derby started in America in 2001 and was introduced to New Zealand five years later. It's grown fast, with now about 16 leagues across the country. Tonight's event is called the Triple Header of Wellington's Richter City Roller Derby League. The Triple Header um, was our season opener this year, Extravaganza, to introduce all three of our teams for the year. So we've, um, for the last two years, had two teams, Brutal Pageant and Smash Malice. That's my team, the Leopard Print. Um, and this year, we're introducing a third team. We just doubled our league in size about three weeks ago. We introduced about 25 new skaters, and the new team is Comic Slams. It's a body contact sport. Blocking's not only legal, it's essential. Using booty blocks, shoulder barges, and hip checks. Players clear a path for their own jammer while blocking the opposition. This is where the fun happens. I had the old bruise. Yeah, fallen on my bum a few times, and yeah. I joined because I was looking for um, a sport, like I wanted to do a full contact sport that had a really good social aspect to it. So I wanted a sport where I could make a lot of new friends as well as do something athletic. <laughs> the bouts might not be scripted, but the sport is theatrical. Costume design or bout fit takes on a unique persona with names like Rockabilly, Scary McClary and Scarface Claudia. There's no multiple, so there's an international register of names that you have to check your name against before you can start skating, and it gets rejected if it um, doesn't fit into that register. And while it might all be fun, seven referees make sure the rules stick. Roller derby is a complicated sport, and there's 10 girls out there at a time, and each referee position has their own sort of umbrella of um, authority that they're concerned with. The head ref and the pack refs are watching the blockers. Each jam ref watch one, watches one jammer. And the outside pack refs are responsible for managing penalties which occur on the outside of the track where you can't see through the eight blockers to find out what's going on. Each team sweating it out to win the game. Smash Malice are trying to catch up with Comic Slam's lead. Unfortunately, an incident happens and the Smash Malice captain is injured. My team thought that I dislocated my shoulder, but because I play volleyball, I actually naturally roll over one shoulder. So it was actually um, a skate that ran over my pinky finger. But I definitely was not going to not skate in the second game, so I just got it taped up so I could play. Given this is a body contact sport on wheels, there has to be a risk of injury. But that won't hold Aurora back, and the rules have been designed for safety. Yeah, it's just, I guess it just happens when you play, like that's the nature of the game. You know, people get injured sometimes, and yeah. In the final seconds, 
Smash Malice gets the most points and wins against Brutal Pageant. Stoked, yeah, it was awesome. It was just the greatest thing ever, yeah. It was just fantastic. My team are fantastic. They're really supportive and they always go out and have a good time and give it their all and it's just, yeah, really, really good. The rough and tough only rules on the track. At the end of the game, it's handshakes and all friends together. And Aurora, well, she's found many new friends.